What's up, guys? Hey, we are live. It's Cheers. Wednesday night. You know it's rum night. We're going to have a ton of fun. Night. We've it's got like an amazing, amazing show planned for you guys tonight. Oh, yeah. We're super excited about it. We might yell in the microphone a little bit. We might do some dancing. Royer might. might actually rip his shirt off. We're not sure what's going to happen just yet. Uh, we know that's probably Never coming know. this weekend, Never but know. we'll get into that in a minute. I am going to hit the post button on the Just there Drinking look After at you Hours. Remembering stuff? Mm, if you guys wow. aren't in the Facebook group, the Instagram, the TikTok, links are down below. Make sure you check those out. As well as if you're looking for a little rum, ship to the door, hanging out with the coolest rum club in the world. Make sure you check out that Patreon, see if that's a good fit for you. We got some it spaces is. still available. It's a guilty pleasure we would that love. you will truly enjoy. We would love for you. Yeah, you. You know who yeah, I'm talking not about. Not you. You, you to fill that spot. We would love to have you there. And we are super excited uh, about this upcoming weekend. Oh, Royer. yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Royer, for the umpteenth time, yes. is about to embark on another journey. We are. And try to grow as a person a little bit. <laughs> oh, you're talking about me personally? Yeah, you personally. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, to try and be a responsible individual one more time. As yeah, I've you, already had that talk with the wife. As <laughs> you've always tried to do. Uh, however, you think she would know better by now after yeah, 36 years that of it's never gonna happen. <laughs> I am who it's I am, it's never gonna happen. Uh, but we, we have Chicago Rum Fest yes, we this do. weekend, yes, we so do. Chicago Rum Fest. We know several of you will be joining us, yes, and we couldn't and, be more and excited. We look forward to meeting we cannot each and wait. every one of you in person. I would just like to point out that I have started trying on overalls, <laughs> I have not. So, you're gonna break out dirty by? I don't know. I haven't found a pair that I like, so there's no guarantee I'm showing up in overalls. But if I find a pair that I like, I'm showing up in overalls. So, <laughs> and I guarantee you, I'm the only person in the building in that overalls. will be in overalls. If anybody else is, we're about to become best friends. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So I'd everybody, everybody. Go there, wear your overalls. Wear your overalls. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even be an overall. Start a dirty so bob party. I'm just I'm just letting you know right now. I haven't committed fully yet because I haven't found a pair that I like. So that's out there. Uh appreciate the thumbs up says you guys are coming in. Thank you so much. That does help us out a ton. It and does. it lets more people know that this is the best rum community in the world. And we gotta let them know that, guys. So we appreciate that. Yeah, we're uh, just trying to tell everyone. You're the best. You're the best. We want to introduce the world to this rum community yep. because you guys make this You're the most fun, it. amazing place to hang out. We're very lucky and fortunate to get to do this with you guys every single week. And I can't wait to do it in person with several of you this coming weekend. Yep. I've already got uh, my whole weekend planned. <laughs> it involves drinking rum, drinking rum, and almost no sleep. So I'm super excited about it. I'm definitely going to be amped yep. for it. Uh, we're coming in hot. Coming we, in hot we, for we it. Are. It's gonna we be are. good. Uh, Sean Panabaker coming in at number oh, one, yeah. back on top. Glad back to have on you top. Here. Mark G coming in second. Mike top three. We like it. Greg is here coming in with low carb cocktails, where you can find some great shows nice. on some low carb cocktails. It's in the name. You guys can find those Definitely at that out. show. Make sure you check that out. Check it out. Uh, Carlos is here. How you doing, Carlos? We got <laughs> Carlos some... is hitting out some hellos. So Carlos, I know you left early last week. Right, I, I know the parking and getting out of the parking lot and everything. Yeah, it's a shows. busy area it's a here. Busy area trying yeah. to get out. You know, I get it. I did something. You should actually go back and watch. Did you it. watch the end of the show, Carlos? Did you watch the end of the show. You got to know. We got to know if you did. If you didn't, you got to go back and yeah, watch. You got to go back and watch that sometime because I did something really with you in mind. Yeah. Uh <laughs> That's a scary thought. I'm so sorry, Carlos. <laughs> Gosh, I issue our apology now. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys watch today's video, Carlos, I promise he did not Spanish Marie. Either, so thank goodness for that. And anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, watch today's video, watch today's video. from what rum I'm drinking uh, tonight, by the way. Yes. Can we say it? Bad bitch, bitch rum. rum. I love that you just jumped in on oh, yeah. the B word yeah. in the middle of oh. it. It wasn't the only even... time I get to yeah. actually be myself on camera. But this was today's video. Spanish Marie uh, is a little bit scary. Uh, we didn't realize why she was bad bitch Marie, uh, you know, but uh, we're super, super excited uh, for you guys to learn about that and see that if yeah. you haven't. it's Because we are cool. an educational channel. We are educational. We just taught you something. We're, we're still waiting for PBS You didn't know. And now Royer has to take a six-week course with <laughs> HR, HR. Yeah, thanks, Joan. Because of this video. So we're super, I'm grateful for that. Uh, yeah, Phil, good evening, rum drinking infidels. That's me. I'm just learning, Phil. I'm sorry. I'll get there, all right? Uh, 
Carlos says I'm ready for the weekend. Uh, he's uh, he the pollen. Yeah. Oh yeah. I believe that it's I mean, here it's too terrible. in the Midwest. It's terrible. Daniel Sutherland. Woohoo! I'm early. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Cheers, Daniel. Congratulations on being early. Yes. We love that. Uh, let's see here. Got some hellos. Greg's back in making, he's picking a drink and I'm sure he's going to post that in the just drinking after hours Facebook group later. So I'm super excited. He makes some if he awesome hasn't already. Cocktails. The thing I, I really about the low, like about the low carb cocktails channel is that he makes it look so easy mm -hmm. to make all those different cocktails. That so he easy. So easy. Yeah. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at it too, but you know what? I've actually watched his video a couple of times. On how to make certain cocktails, and, and I've, I've and made a couple. You made a couple, and, and they don't suck wow. like they used to. That's amazing. I know. I mean, so Greg, I still you. don't want you to make my cocktails. I'd still rather Greg make it. Yeah, just it's, so probably, it's probably a good idea. I'm better. I'm better for that. Yeah, you know? I, yeah, yeah. Just saying. Uh, Fred is in the house. How you doing, hey, Fred? Fred? Welcome in. Uh, drinking Papa's Pilar flagship dark straight tonight. Wow. <laughs> Pulling out the stops. Fred is coming in bougie wow. rum drinking. I like it. I like wow. it. Drums and rums. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how are you doing? How are we doing? Drums and rums just coming in hot, making their appearance. Appearance here. If you guys haven't seen, Drums and Rums has made a return. They took a little sabbatical, probably to drink rum. It happens. We all do it sometimes. We do. Ours usually lasts on a three-day bender, and then we show up on Wednesday. That's right. Um, That's this weekend. We're Anyhow. super <laughs> – this weekend will be exactly that. And we are super excited to have you here, Drums and Rums podcast. Thanks, Paul, for coming in. And we Thank got really bad much. rum. Really bad what? rum. Doc's oh, here. Opposite he's, day. He's, he's right here. Boom. Yeah, opposite day. Right there here. There it is. Uh, I, hate, I hate this reverse camera. I know. You tell us every week, Royer. We have to hear about you complain about the reverse camera. I wonder if it would be better if I just turned around and be like that. That's better. Huh? That's so much better. Then I can point. To, to be honest, that's your best side. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, Jeremy's in the house. Hey, Good Jeremy. evening, everyone. We still got to send Jeremy some stuff. We got some stuff. Damn coming. it, we yeah, do. We're really, we really we dropped the ball on that. We, yeah, which we say, normally we do. Have dropped the ball. We normally do. Uh, I got a little for those of you who know together over there. We just haven't sent it. We, well, cool. I haven't I haven't shown you everything that I kind of put in the kit. <laughs> it's good. So it's I good. want I want to get. Well, I already told you the couple things I wanted to make sure we yeah, got. Know, so I'm excited I, to see I, what I else know, you threw in there. So yeah. All right. We'll figure. Anyhow. Anywho. We die, Jeremy. Okay. We will make it worth your weight. Worth, worth your weight. Worth your weight. While while wait. Weight? What is your weight? Time. Worth your we'll weight. Make it worth your time. Oh, well, weight like time. Time. Weight. Not weight. I was thinking not, weight like like how heavy. Ounces. I literally my wow, head jumped that... straight to like why does how heavy he is have anything to do with I this? I have no I, idea how heavy he is. I haven't weighed him lately. I don't know what he's up to these days. I don't 102, 103. I don't have I don't any ideas. Is he down to rum daddy Roy air weight at a oh, cool gosh, 95 I, pounds? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. 95 pounds. Uh, <laughs> back maybe when I was like, a wee little lad. <laughs> wee little laddie. Back in the 1800s. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't even know where I left off. I'm going to catch up here. We got some hellos, say, good conversations, kind of good conversations. I love that. Uh, Mike S. coming in, drinking Babunku 8 year. Oh, very because, nice. Because I'm going to Chicago Rum Fest and my yeah. wife won't let me buy anything new until I finish a bottle. <laughs> Get after it, Mike. Get after it. <laughs> Chicago's right How around the corner. Left, Mike? The show goes on for about another 45, 50 minutes. We believe in you. We believe in you. We'll, we'll be, I, if we could help you, we would. Trust me. We definitely would. <laughs> Mrs. Doc coming in here. Good evening. Nice shirt, Royer. Thank you. I did Thank compliment you. your you shirt did. tonight you on did. the show, too. The, re the recording. I yeah. actually, I, I like, I like I your outfit that. tonight. Thank you You're very much. Good. Feeling very beachy, and I yeah. like that. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see here. Wish I was going to Chicago this weekend, Mark. The whole world needs to be in Chicago yes. this weekend because yep. it's going to be a blast. I hope. I hope that it's still standing by the time we're done. I'm going to tell you what. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> and if Rum Babunku is going to be there, oh, yeah. the roof is going to explode. John Mark, if you are watching this and you're going to be there, first of all, let man, us know. Second us of up. all, bring your bring your adrenaline because yeah. you're not going to bed. Nope. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. So we got some. So Carlos didn't watch the end of the show. He's going to. Oh, now. you got to check it out, Carlos. Uh, Special I, gift just for you, buddy. Let's see here. Is that one or two for the pitch count so far? <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't keep track. Did you guys like that? If you watched. So so because it's bad bitch rum, Roy Air was allowed to swear, which he normally. I was actually allowed I, to be myself. We either have to bleep it or extent. cut it most of the time. And he does swear more than anyone on this show. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, this Sorry. time he had a pass. So we kept a Roy hair, uh, bitch counter in the bottom <laughs> corner for you guys to keep track of how many times he made sure to chime that baby in there, which was a very, take advantage great, of it very great count. Yeah. Uh, yeah. super fun, super fun. Really excited about that video today. Um, <laughs> don't get Spanish married by Roy Air. Uh, <laughs> come to Chicago. You do not have to worry about it that. Won't happen. It, it won't will happen. Not happen. He's gonna be on his best behavior. I will be on my best. Resurrection behavior. paranormal. What? What's up, guys? Been a few. Welcome oh, back. Man, where you been? Super glad that you're here. Yeah. Uh, I'm just still waiting to Ghostbusters. I just saw the new Ghostbusters movie this week. Yeah. By the way, yesterday. Um, feeling like I'm capable of such things. Yep. So just in case so, we want to revisit so, so, that, I'm so, feeling so, more confident. So you're feeling more confident I'm now? feeling like after watching okay. the new Ghostbusters movie, yeah. I can handle anything. So, so Resurrection Paranormal. We put this out here. You know, we, we talked about it before. You know, maybe we need to get together and... Uh, Ghostbust. You know, Ghostbust. Ghostbust. Right? That's what I'm going to call it anyway. Uh, John Hasbrock from Just Rum is hey, also... John. Here, Other I'm, I'm going to get better at it one of these days. I gave uh, up trying. Welcome, welcome in, Signs John. Super glad that you're here. John always jumps in. One of the most knowledgeable people in rum, by the way. I love having conversations with John. If you ever get the uh, opportunity to either meet him in person, talk to him, or uh, just chat with him online, uh, he is a tremendous individual who has such a deep knowledge to learn about. I'm going to keep talking so Royer can't at this point because I love that we're stalling Jesus. Royer. What do you? Want? Oh my God! What are you rushing me well, for? Well, let me ask a question, to John. Here, John, I sent you an email. I want to make sure that you did receive it. So. Oh, we'll just all wait for you. Glad response. that we paused the show for that. Okay, <laughs> moving on. God, tell you what. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Greg says you're welcome down to Marion anytime for a few cocktails. We gotta make that journey. We gotta make Greg that trip. is in Marion. 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 Just so you know, Marion. Marion. So we're slowly. Uh, he hasn't given us his address. We've had to slowly figure out. We knew he was in the Cedar Rapids yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. Now we have a suburbs. Yep. Now we're locked Marian, in. Now, now we're zoning in, Greg. We're, you, Greg. we're, we're gonna zoning find in you. on you. We're going to find you. Watch your rum cabinet. Uh, <laughs> enjoying Hampton <laughs> Estate Pagos Sherry Cast Aged Rum. Wow. Nanny Nanny Boo Boo. John. John has always got some. <laughs> talk about Fred's drinking bougie rum. John's <laughs> drinking oh, bougie, yeah, rum. bougie rum. We got bougie rum in the glasses tonight. I love it. Speaking of glasses, uh, I'm obviously having the bad bitch rum tonight. What are you drinking tonight, I am Royer? having... I am having some Planteray used to be Plantation five year. This is what I'm having in honor of Chicago Rump Fest and Planteray changing their name and they're going to be there. And yeah, they, Planteray they, didn't change their name. Plantation changed. Yeah, they changed their name. Good job. You're going to get there. I'm here to help. I'm going to be with you this entire weekend. Mr. Really? Okay. We're going to be in a vehicle. Really? We're sharing oh a God. room. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all of that. I'm a cuddler. I'll probably crawl yeah. over there yeah, and just make sure happen. you're sleeping yeah, you okay. You know what happens if somebody surprises me. Anyhow. I do. I do. <laughs> so far, I've dodged your punches uh, every single time. Oh, yeah. So Let's uh, not do that. Yeah, I'll be good. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> um... Uh, ba, ba, ba. what's up, fellas? Coconut cartel oh, in the glass tonight. CJ's got it. Very going nice. On. We love it. Coconut. I actually was a considering tremendous. the coconut cartel. This it's tremendous. Season. It's so this good. We just broke good. into that uh, not too long ago yeah. for for a flashback, and we yes. loved it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, Definitely. Jeremy says, awesome. if his gift is worth his weight in rum, he weighs about three fifty. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> if the doctor's asking well if the doctor is asking it's only a little over 200 though <laughs> we'll play Jerry. i love that we'll play 350 pounds worth his weight in rum um let's see here we've got uh phil sipping some pusser's gunpowder proof oh, love it nice. love it uh mike you've inspired me to have some bob and coot tonight as well we're inspiring rum drinking oh yeah that's what so, we're here to I do mean, this is, so i'm gonna break in right here 
So th this is one of the things that I truly love about this community right here. And, and that's, that's all you find people out there is the fact that you're, you're suggesting all these different rums, all these different things to try, you know, and it's, you know, when we started our rum journey, we had no idea that there was this many rums. We barely had any rums. You know, we had like four. We had like four. We were in the garage. We had no idea what we were it's doing. Like, yeah, this is going to be short, short lived. Short right? journey. We're going to make our way to right whiskey here. and other places. Yep. And we're no, never getting to whiskey. And the, re the reason that we stayed with rum, the reason, the true reason that we stayed with rum is because of all you fine people. That's so true. I was going to say, I thought you were about to say something else. No, and I was like, are you no, seriously going to say it's something other than the best people in the world, which is it rum is, people? Is, in all because seriousness, we have so much fun. In, in all seriousness, because the one thing that we have discovered in our rum journey, is the fact that the people that enjoy the rum, they are the fun people. You know, they say, you know, there's this common phrase, rum is fun. That is no shit. Yeah. Okay. That is complete truth. Right there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, but you know, the, the rum people out there, they're, they're just, they're just good people. Yeah. They're just fun, good people. They want to laugh. They want to have a good time. Yeah. They don't want to bitch and complain yeah. and beep. <laughs> Everything. I'm sorry. Yeah. Getting carried Look at away. that. Getting all kinds of crazy. Yeah. Look who's in the house. We've got Riley in the house. Speaking, what? Of, speaking of bad bitches. Speaking of bad bitches. Hey, hey, hey. We've got we've got our very own bad bitch in the house tonight. <laughs> Riley, welcome in. Super glad that you're here. My beautiful wife. Absolutely amazing. My daughter. And the reason that this show even exists, by the way. Yeah, so it was you, actually her if idea. If you guys want to throw some thank yous, the only reason the show even started yeah, in the first place her idea. was because it was her idea. And it was the only reason we ever even did it so we're super grateful and thank you for being yes. the founder of just drinking <laughs> hasn't even been on the show but yeah she is the wonder, founder you know is there do you suppose there's times that she regrets that oh i'm sure yeah i'm sure usually when i go home on a wednesday yeah yeah it seems well, very yeah, regretful at that kind point. of what i was thinking you know i don't probably know not, she's probably thinking oh shit this plan really wasn't That's very well thought really out. backfired <laughs> shoot <laughs> shucky darn shucky darn stuck with it now <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. Um, scrolling down here. Resurrection Paranormal. Dude, we will get together for sure. Sorry, guys. I've been beyond super busy, but I'm glad to be back. Got a concussion, so I'm breaking the rules watching this. Totally worth it, though. Wow. First of all, as long as you're being safe, maybe wow. put some sunglasses on, whatever. Yep. Maybe listen and turn away yep. for a little bit, yep. which is honestly a good advice for everyone. Uh, you know, just like really bad, uh, well, not really bad rum. That's going to be delicious. And you're gonna be amazing. But, <laughs> but poorly made rum, uh, will also yeah, give you a headache. Us yelling into the microphone can do that sometimes too. So that's just good advice in general for you guys. You're welcome for that. Uh, that's for free. Um, <laughs> I won't even bill you for it. Uh, Carlos, thank you. Let's get those thumbs ups. We appreciate that. They do uh, get more cool people into this amazing yes. rum community. Let Believe them know you're not, here. That's how it happens. Let us know you're here. Let the them know you're here. We get. The more people it's YouTube Actually, shows it to, and then they're us. like, ah, oh, man, there's cool people hanging out yeah. here. So we got to go check cool that out. Cool people, that being you. Yeah. No, uh, Mike says, finish my Bamako too quick. So I'm on the Hilton Head Solera rum. Oh, wow. Already moving on. Already moving on. Break down one bottle, get to the next. Okay. There we go. So I'm guessing that bottle's finished. Yeah. Yeah, right? the Bob and Coo's gone. Because. Moving on. Because he's, he's only able to buy some new rum. The only reason you'd be able to move on from Bob and Coo's if the bottle is gone. So, right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mind Freak's in the house all what? the way from India. Welcome Are you in. serious? Welcome in, Mind Freak. We're so, what is it, 7 a.m. there right oh, now? We're geez, super no, excited I, I that you're here. I think it's like five or six there, isn't it? I don't know. It's early. It's, it's very crazy. early in the morning. Thank uh, you for joining us. We are I super excited that you're here. It. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us again. You're uh, like a celebrity just showing up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Obviously, I'm not drinking right now, but I had some Ron Zacapa recently and liked it. Which one was it? The 23 Solera? That's the most common one. But or did you, XO. Or did you get into the Negra, the XO, yep, something, the something a little more specific? We got some good stuff going on. Oh, they on do there. have some good stuff. Oh, look at all the look at all the thanks uh for Riley. I don't claim that title, Riley says, as founder of Just Drinking. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the website. I'm gonna put that uh, that stuff on a t-shirt somewhere. She makes her t-shirts too, dang it. I'm not gonna get that on she a t-shirt. I'm gonna have to go underground. You know, you know what I was uh, thinking today. Oh, so God, I had that's this great dangerous. idea. So I gotta I gotta tell this now, otherwise I will forget it. Okay, you made me think of it. Yep. You made me think of it. You said go. the word t-shirt. Yes. You made me think of it. So I was, I was at work today and I was thinking. I got to say less words. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I need to talk to Riley about making a t-shirt that says made with rum. Made with rum. Just you? Right? Huh? Made with made rum. With rum. It's kind of confusing, isn't I it? I know, right? That's made what makes rum. it great. What is made with rum? Exactly. I'm so confused already. Exactly. I already told you my t-shirt idea. I'm excited about that. What was about your that. t-shirt? Yeah, we're not going to get into that right now. We'll get there uh, someday. So, not today. Um but yeah, I love that she's like, I don't claim that title. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, hey guys, the Pinot Noir Queen Share. We tried it today. I could bottle it now, but I've decided to let it sit until next spring and then entry na- uh, enter at nationwide competitions next year. Wow. Any bets on winning? Hey, I'm not betting against you. No, if, definitely not. I'm definitely not, not betting against definitely you. Definitely not. John. And I believe that it's super, super good. I'm giving odds. What's the odds? Do we have like <laughs> like ten to one, like twenty to one? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on the your half winning. I'll just take yeah. my my super my change, like whatever that is. Uh because I definitely I think say, you got a good chance. Bet on that. Definitely think uh it's six a.m. You said five, I said seven. It's six a.m. We're so close. So close. So close. Yeah, six twenty-one to be precise. Um let's see here. Uh bu- 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 the 23 Solera, which is a great rum. Very nice. Loves the copper rum. Absolutely yes. love that you got into that one. Uh, Doc has changed it up tonight. He's sipping some genuine Wormwood Absentee 110 proof Absinthe Refined. Wow. Wow. Guys, are you wow. getting bougier another than Rum bougie. Daddy Royer? Another, another bougie, another bougie drink. Wow. That's three now tonight. Wow. You guys are out drinking Rum Daddy Royer's class right oh, now. Oh, okay? man. You're going to have to get something like, stepped wow. up. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Uh, Phil says Riley equals the queen of just drinking. I agree. That's true. I agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely grateful for her and the fact that we get to hang out with all you guys because of her, uh, odds currently three to one. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm betting on the one. So that's 30 cents on the dollar. Right. Like, you know, so I, yeah, I can, I can get that win. Just got to throw enough money at it and I can make some decent money. I'll, I'll have to save up some money, John. And uh, see what I can afford from spring. <laughs> right. Besides, Royer needs to fund the top 10 this year as I took his money. That's true. John <laughs> came and claimed his prize. You lost your $23. Was uh, it 23 Because it was this last year. So, remember. yeah, it was $23. Was it? 23 bucks. It was lost. more than that. It was a no. special. No. We always give prize for whatever it year change, it is. But it was change, too. Well, I think whatever change was in your pocket at the time, you just gave him. I don't think there was a specific amount of change. <laughs> I think was. it was just $23. There, there, there was. We give a prize that's equivalent to the year that you win. So, like, Doc, if he shows up, he gets $19. You know, is it nineteen or is it two thousand nineteen dollars? No, it's well, yes, it's for Doc. It's two thousand nineteen dollars. <laughs> it's like, so, wait a minute. Yeah, that's wait a you, minute. But <laughs> wait a minute. You're welcome. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Time out. Yeah, we're gonna throw some funding that way. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I love it. Um, Riley for president of Rum Club twenty twenty four. We're voting oh, for yeah. presidents yeah, of yeah, yeah. Rum Club. I love it. Riley, top ballot. The only one on the ballot so far. Uh. Let's see here. I need to grab some bougie rum, Mike says. Yeah, me too. I apparently. know, right? God, I got to get into something. We tried a bougie rum tonight, that's for sure. We definitely have well, one I mean, coming up. I mean, we... There's we, a few. We, we, we got there's a, some. There's a we, few. We, we've got a yeah, few. You know. But I don't want to open up this one yet. You know, there's there's just a few rums that I feel like... Are kind of bougie rums. Are rum. probably the bougiest rums that we have. That we have. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh no. Okay. <laughs> Not for no. Rum Daddy Roy here tonight. No. Uh let's see here. No green fairies yet, but many green aliens. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh Riley has the inspiration behind RDM. She uh she was a great show followed by a great show. Uh I'm not following completely, John. I got to be honest. You start using, I can't think quick enough for you to throw RDMs at me and I'm just supposed to decipher this like I'm some sort of child prodigy. Okay. Gosh. All right. I'm moving on. Riley is awesome though. The Queen Riley can imagine you guys in the stores saying we claim all the rum uh, in the name of the queen. (laughs) Definitely should do that. That's hilarious. Um, Oh, God. 
Let's see here. I need to go buy some new rum. Cigars have taken my budget recently. Okay, well that's a yeah, that's we, we respectable. That. Yeah, we, we, uh, we it happens. It does. Can't say we haven't been there. You know, so totally understandable. Daytona got us for sure. <laughs> uh, definitely. You guys ever? Hit, you guys ever now, hit? To, now to be fair, to be fair, it wasn't just the cigars. <laughs> it was the rum that got us first. Okay, and the fact that they let us bring rum in. in and video and then drink said rum so if you and guys then purchase the cigars yeah so they they were smart they, they were smart they knew what they we were, knew what the hell they were doing so if you guys haven't seen the video on cruise and hurricane proof go look <laughs> up that video but that's us at don kiki cigar superstore in daytona florida we're in the top half where all the pool tables yeah. and stuff are we're great enjoying, great enjoying store. ourselves a lot of fun but they don't have rum there but they allow you to bring stuff in so oh, yeah. there's a liquor store yeah. uh just around the corner we just around the corner went over there grabbed some stuff hurricane proof came, came back, back drank and had cigars and by the time we were done with our video and having ours we ordered <laughs> by the time these, we left we ordered a lot of cigars and we had to have them shipped home yes uh so which they did kindly for us yes. they were so oh yeah kind. they didn't mind that they at were all super excited about yeah, that we'll be glad and we did do yes. that Yes, sir, so, Mr. Royer. Yeah, uh, uh, please sign here. Yep, and we did. Um, and we did. We shipped home a large case of <laughs> cigars. Awesome, awesome time. Don Kiki <laughs> Cigar Superstore. There's your shout out. We love it. Uh, Rum Dog Millionaire. Oh man, Riley, Riley's just bringing up Rum Dog Millionaire, which is which is absolutely king of the rums. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Riley, had you guys take a shot of Stro 160? You guys went on a rant. Pickleback showed up the following Wednesday. That is true. That that so is so. Riley lie. again. Rum Dog Millionaire was was the re, was the birth of Riley's decisions again. Yep. This again wouldn't have. Ha Why isn't she here more? I, I swear. Know. She our she best get on because the show with because us. We she tried to we tried to talk her into coming onto the show with us. And she's like starting yeah. to chant. I'm starting to go fund me to yeah. like be get able Riley, to afford get, her to get, get on the Riley show. on board. I'm telling have you, have her right here. Yeah. my daughter talking about how she's come up with all these great ideas because she has apparently not only come up with the show, but the rum with our faces on it yeah. only happened because, because of, of her. Her basically of her. getting us deep in rum and bringing out our true inspiration. I'm sure that was a fun night for her when you got up. And again, this just brings me to believe she's regretting some of these decisions at some point. Like, I man, was this the best yeah, choice? Was I, was, I'm not what sure. What was I thinking? But we're here now, so this is happening. Uh, just Rum needs to do a Riley's batch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens next year. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We'll but, see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, I'm just you got say, deep pockets. You got deep pockets <laughs> over here. Okay. Yeah, you got holes in the bottom of them. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't say why they were deep. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought. I thought so, I was just being vague. So this is what I started out with this evening. So Plantation is uh, sponsoring. They're big sponsors at the Chicago Rum Fest this year. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, Mr. John Hasbrook from uh, Just Rum, he truly. Even though he's drinking some bougie rum that we don't have, I know that he truly enjoys this plantation right here. I now, know that for fact. I got a question for you, Royer. Uh, well, real, real quick, let me catch up here a little bit. Quick. Uh, so I, I, I just want to catch up short. on comments. Uh, it would outsell Rum Dog Millionaire. I have a big idea. Riley's saying that she could outsell Rum Dog Millionaire if she came out with a Riley's batch. <laughs> What? Wow. Well, I mean, I didn't even know this was a competition. Challenge but... accepted. Wow. Now we need to make two rums side by side, somehow debut those things, and we need to get into a competition. And that will With be the... your wife and my daughter. Yeah, and that's they're the same person. Don't act like that's two different people, okay? And I say we get mom on Riley's team, and we have a mom and Riley versus Rum Daddy Royer and, and Robert. Robert. Okay. See, here's... This is taking a weird... I'm... My mind's just I I I've had just a, so you know I've had a just so you know the day that the competition starts I'm just gonna somehow forget that their rum exists I'm just gonna yell <laughs> about our rum all the time super weird <laughs> super weird how that's gonna happen um I guess I missed it but did I hear you guys mention Crujan did you like it yeah so we oh, had yeah, the, the hurricane the hurricane oh proof. my god super I've got good. a bottle out there in uh, in the cupboard I make a specialty cocktail with it uh, I, oh yeah Crujan makes some fun stuff but the hurricane proofs a really fun rum we so. 
funny thing, we actually do make a few cocktails uh, here at home. We just don't uh, record them. You know, you'll see our reviews as just uh, by itself or, or with a cola. Right. And uh, but yeah, we actually make other cocktails. Sometimes. They're not as good as Greg's from, you know, his low channel. carb cocktails. His yeah. Channel. Royer, I already can't remember. Uh, let's see here. Oh, an old guy. Royer with his deep pockets can make anything happen. <laughs> So true. So true. Uh, okay. Why do you have holes in your pockets? That gives me another questionable thing about you. After you're going to Spanish I can't, afford, I can't. I can't afford new pants. Yeah, I bet you can. Mm -hmm. I hope there are some good craft distillers this weekend because I've not gotten there yet. Uh, Mike, there is going to be some oh. tremendous craft distillers. Let's let's spoiler alert for Chicago Rum Fest. Star Union will be there. Yes, I believe Renegade we Rum will be there. Uh, I believe that yeah. uh, De definitely Star Union. Rum and Cane? Is it Rum and Cane? There's another Chicago one. Oh, yeah. Illinois. Yeah, yeah. We don't. Illinois well, brand yeah, that's going to be this, there. Uh, uh, the CCC. Yeah. The Chicago Cane. The USS. Uh, Super. The United Super Specific Rum. We, we, we actually, I think we have a little bottle of theirs around here from last somewhere. somewhere. I think we might do. Uh, but there's going to be some great craft out. distillers none, nonetheless. So you're going to have a good time. Uh, we, there's always a good handful out there. So you, you have no worry on that. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm not telling you guys anything. Y'all would try to copy. We would never copy. First of all, we already have our 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 mystery is out. We've committed fully to what Let's we're doing, so there's no changing it at this point. That's Riley talking okay. smack about how okay. she can outsell yeah. us. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Hurricane proof is awesome. Alu graphics, yes. super glad that you're here. Hurricane proof from Crucian. Yes, is I love that. I love that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I just love it. Uh, Greg just made his cocktail. He's going to post that into the Just Drinking After Hours Facebook group. Those links are down below, so make sure you check that out. Resurrection Paranormal says Royer spends his money on rum, not new pants. That makes <laughs> sense. True. Right. I'm sure all of us would love to see a few <laughs> rum cocktail videos, the ones you liked the most. We should probably do well, that at but, some point. I mean, I'm so not getting into low it. Low-carb cocktails makes a really great, does we'll get great there drinks out there. Someday. I don't know. The, With enough practice. I mean, someday. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're trying our best. It's not our full time gig. Maybe someday, though. You never know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 20 watching, only 16 thumbs up. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for that plug. One, we lost one. It's at 15. They don't like us anymore. That's okay. We appreciate you. We appreciate <laughs> like us at least we appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Just so you know, we love you no matter what you decide to do, but we do appreciate we your thumbs like up. I don't know. Somebody took it. I can't see specific. I should. Oh, another one's gone. See? Oh, man. They're all. We're losing it now. We're losing We're it. We're losing it. We're losing it. We better talk about some rum news to get okay. it back here. Uh, so. I want to tell you something, Royer. Have you ever been on the beach? Yes. And I have. You're enjoying, I've been on the, beach. You're I enjoying love the, beach. the sun. You're hanging out and you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I could really use a rum cocktail, but I really don't want to go and get one. Okay. It's really oh, yeah. far yeah. away. Well, I did an exercise video a couple of years ago. You did an exercise video. Yeah. On the beach. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> okay. Well, that is another story, but. You ever sat there and thought, man, it would just be nice if I didn't have to go and get a drink right oh, now? Oh, yeah, yeah. That would what be if great. I told you there was a very smart individual out there yeah. who bought a kayak, bought a cooler, and buys every morning 25 coconuts and 25 pineapples, and he brings pina coladas to the beach by kayak and just kayaks down the beach really? with his cash bar. So that, it's kind of like a kind of like a kind of like a Uber. <laughs> Slash well, kind of you can't liquor store. You can't call it. You have to yell like there's no app for it. Oh, so, it's no app for it. So, so ingenious floating pina colada bar in Roatan. Okay. Oh, I we're love Roatan. We're over in Honduras. Been there, done that. Over here, great place. Uh, so we got Copinaco's floating bar, which is a unique and ingenious no, business back. that brings the pina coladas right to you as you wander the beach. So uh, it goes on to talk about Roatan. It's amazing. He basically starts his day at 10 a.m., paddles his, uh, his kayak down the shore, uh, and it ends. his day ends when he's all out of pineapples and coconuts. So he starts at 20. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, he starts with 25 of each, goes down there. Now, here's the best part. I did yeah. the math. Yeah. This guy makes way more money than we do, okay, <laughs> with 50 pieces of fruit and some rum because yeah. the guy sells them for $10 a piece plus tips. Okay. Why would you not? So $10 a piece plus tips. 
he works every day. If he sells out, let's just say on average, he mostly sells out. Okay. Yep. Guys pulling, if he's working 365 over like $230,000 a year, let's say he only works half the year, only sells them out half the year. Still pulling like $116,000, one seventeen thousand dollars cool. for that. So this guy's <laughs> got it. Cool. That's gross, but I'm just saying great business plan. Guy seems super happy, super smart. I would be too if I was doing what he was oh, yeah. doing. This yeah. is a very terrible picture because of the shadowing, whatever. But I want you to see his kayak here and him. Uh, this is it. He has a kayak, a cooler, and his fruit. So this is this is the so show. Funny. It's so funny that you bring this up because there there's there's a lot of companies that start out very small like this with just a really good innovative idea. Okay. And one of the other companies that comes to mind, along with this, as you were talking about this, I'm like, that sounds just like our friends at Coconut Cartel, right? Right? Yeah. Because they have a very, very interesting His story. coconuts are legal. He has legal coconuts. Coconut <laughs> Cartel smuggled their coconuts. Okay. It's a different game. So this is, so if they have a very interesting history. And uh, we're hoping to have them actually on the show at some point uh, to kind of share with everybody their history, uh, which is very unique. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Robert's mic is cracking. Might need to check that before Rumfest. Oh, cracking in our video today or cracking right now? Because right now it's this one. Am I just yelling too loud at it? I we think just, you're yelling too I'm, loud. I'm going to talk quieter for you guys so it doesn't Jeez. crack. I apologize. I don't have wow. this nice low radio wow. voice like Roy Air. Hello, guys. All right. And here we go. Let's get back to the show. Appreciate that. Riley, thanks for phoning in. Uh, Alu Graphics coming in here. Uh, I've been to Martha's Vineyard, where the bartender comes down from Jamaica and does the same thing. His specialty is a drink called the Dirty Banana. The Dirty the Banana. The Dirty Banana. Look at that. <laughs> Sounds even better in this voice. Uh, the Dirty Banana. <laughs> yep, that just sounds like something I should repeat a lot of times oh, into the microphone. My God. Uh, that's awesome. I mean, honestly, it's really cool. I think you'll probably like see it in more places than this, but this highlight really tells me there's a huge business market for oh, this. Yeah. Because who wouldn't be excited? You're on the beach, you're enjoying the sun, you need a cool off drink, and someone hands you a pineapple. It comes in the pineapple or coconut. He has no cups, he has no glasses. Yep. Okay, he puts it in the uh, the actual fruit. Right. And gives it to you. So he doesn't have tremendous. to worry about any drinkware or yes. anything else like that, right? Yes, absolutely. That's so cool. Super, super cool. I'd gladly pay 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks yeah. for that kind of cocktail. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, seriously. I would too. That'd uh, be fun. The person in the video gave him 10 bucks plus a $5 tip. That's 15 bucks. And I averaged his uh, money making off of a $3 tip, by the way. Yeah. Didn't even average it on a $5 tip. I averaged his, his earnings on a... Three dollars. Cool. Tremendous. Tremendous. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'll have to start tagging you guys on my Instagram posts. Yeah, Sean, why have you not done that? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, you should. Uh, Riley's saying right now. Yep. So, you know, <laughs> so this mic, we probably need to clean it. I don't know. Probably need to do some maintenance on the mics. So we have I another mic. I think we bought this mic a very long time ago. Uh, no, we don't have another. No, we have a second mic. Yeah, I think we have an older mic we used to have, but then I think we got rid of it. The because, out. Yeah, we never used it, so... Probably should get a new one, upgrade it's Robert's it. fault. I tell you what, guys, here's the new venture. We're 15 uh, subscribers away from 3,000. 15? 15. So our goal is, is by Chicago Rum Fest to hopefully hit 3,000 so we can gloat to all the big rum companies how huge we are. Because the difference that that truly makes for all of you is the fact that if you are part of the rum club, which, you know, you should be, um and actually, that out there <laughs> shaming people wow it, it actually gives us an opportunity to get uh some other rum distillers involved with rum club wow you know so. you're really rum club shaming people right now I, you know you join if you want to okay you guys you do, do what you, you want best you for do you do don't you listen want. don't listen to royer pressuring you okay life not, would be better right here to, <laughs> not here to pressure you it's just available <laughs> if you want to 
and you get rum, you get a cool experience and all that. But don't do. let rum you club do. shaming from Roy Air dictate that. We don't or, want you to be or shamed. Or if it works, it. then hey, yeah, go no, sign up. No, <laughs> don't listen, don't listen to Rum Daddy Roy Air over here. Can I just say it? Uh, <laughs> but also, we hope to get them on just on the show on a live yeah. and be able to do an interview. So, so uh, that, events like this usually it, start those conversations. In to get all seriousness, them involved. you know, uh, we met with uh, Danny from Coconut Cartel in November. Working on that and uh she's very busy she is very busy but we met with her uh down in november at the the miami rum renaissance and she knew who we were yeah you know obviously and, and uh so she was very interested in doing something with us and so what you, we, you you say like she knew who we were like it was a surprise like this isn't the number one rum community <laughs> in the world like like the coolest people in rum don't hang out here well these all fine people are the coolest people. But, That's what know, I just we're, said. We're not. What do you think I just said? Anyhow, <laughs> so what the difference makes is actually people like that. Uh, they want to help promote themselves on our rum channel. Yeah. And that's what we are all about is helping those rum distillers help promote themselves on our rum channel. Yep. You know, so that all of you fine people get acquainted with them a little bit more. And so the way and the way that we do that is one of the ways uh, we invite them on to do like a live interview yep. with us. Yep. Just, just like right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Um, you've all seen that before. Uh, and we're, we're going to do it again. At some so, time. At some time. Uh, yes. And uh, I just want to, I want to catch up here a little bit because we okay. got some stuff uh, coming in here and I want to catch up. Um, so yes, there, do you have anything else? You, you, I got, got all it. kinds of things it? that yeah, I want to say. Just making sure. <laughs> Didn't want to totally interrupt you, but. Oh no, that's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> Uh, Fred is asking when Rum Club is this month for our Rum Club. We're looking at the 28th right now. Uh, the 28th, Sunday the 28th. It'll be the weekend that was a Tuesday. after uh, Rum Tuesday? Fest. So uh, did you get a hold of John from Just Rum? What are you even doing? That's what life? I'm waiting to hear. Okay. John, I sent you in. He doesn't email. even know who we are. John just said, who are you guys? He doesn't even know, which is perfectly respectable. John. We're, we're nobody, John. John. Okay. Just talk to the I people in the comments. I sent you an email. Did you get the email? Yeah. Spamming you. Uh, trying to sell yeah, you a, the 30th trying to the sell Tuesday. you a rum club. Did you say the 30th? No, I didn't 28th. say the 30th. I thought you said the 30th. No. Uh, let's see here. He's spamming you. He's trying to sell you a rum club membership. <laughs> uh, really bad rum on Martha's <laughs> Vineyard. The dirty banana at Nancy's restaurant in Oak Bluffs is the concoction to sample. Jamaican bartender Donovan mixes a half a banana with vodka, coffee, liqueur, Bailey's Irish cream. That I just love the sounds specialty. delicious. Amazing. That sounds delicious, Doc. I love that. Uh, I love the expertise that we have right here. Everybody's been everywhere, I and I love that. Uh, Mind Freak says, I joined the Rum Club in a heartbeat if I uh, stayed in the same country. Yeah, I guess that will give you an we easy understand. out. We'll we give you, you will, We'll give you an easy out Yeah, yep. this time. Maybe not next time, but this time. <laughs> being in a different country and all. Yeah, you know. that does complicate things. You can always lot. move. I don't yeah. know. Come on here to Iowa. It's, it's great. Well, you got oh, a lot of places to pick in the United States. Make sure you check them all you out. Ever hope Make for. sure you check them all out before you pick Iowa. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> we love you, Iowa. Sometimes. Uh, let's see. Yesterday we got hit with all the seasons and a tornado, oh, we did. We did. Um, which yeah. was fantastic. There was lightning strike yesterday in Iowa news, like next to my truck. Like I kid you not, in the driveway. There? I was I, no, I was driving. You were driving, and all of a sudden, the all of my windows lit up like I couldn't see out of any window, yeah. and it just blasted me in the face. And it was a half second later, just my truck was shaking with thunder and lightning, and I was like, <laughs> "Well, that was really close." Like, <laughs> feeling like I probably shouldn't be out in a cornfield right now because I was definitely <laughs> surrounded by cornfields. But anyway, another Iowa news. We had a tornado yesterday. Oh, whatever. It's normal Iowa stuff. We're used to it. Lost power for a couple hours. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. We played uh, Mario Kart on the Switch. Did you? Uh, you know, so, you know, all good stuff. Don't, cool. don't need power for that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Thanks, Royer. I wanted to be part of the club, but you can't ship to him. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Dang it. Dang it. Mark would have fell for your scam. Oh, man. You should be. I a, was really targeting Mark, Mark too. Specifically, specifically. Specifically, Mark. Uh, I love that. Dang it. Uh, John says he said yes. So you need to read your email. Okay. Keep up on your emails. Said yes. Rum Daddy Royer. Well, did he? 
He's saying it right now. (laughs) We will be demonstrating the finer art of slow dilution that most people think is BS. On our rum club this month, the 28th, John Hasbro is shipping rums and giving you a tutorial on why slow dilution matters in the rum distilling process. I told you, super educational, super fun. Are you about done? I'm going to keep talking as long (laughs) as you you cannot. Oh, my God. All right, what do you got? Oh, I was just going to say, yes, Uh, John has the that experience because he's experienced it himself, right? I mean, he's learned that experience, and he wants to pass that along to everyone else to let them know this is what the difference is. This is what this tastes like, and this is what this tastes like. Now you can look for it in other rums that you try. Yeah, exactly. I'm super excited. So it's going to be tons that's, of fun. But I'm excited for that process because I've heard I, about it. I've experienced it. I was gonna say we we've gotten we, we've already it. experienced and that. to get to share this with people, we've already experienced that difference. I mean, I I, I tell you what, if you guys just want to compare, you can look at the original Simple White video <laughs> and the new Uncle John's Cut video, yeah. and that's a pretty good tutorial well, too. Actually, so are you out of countryers? So it's not even Uncle John's Cut. He's got the Simple White and the new Simple White. Yeah, he does. He got well. You know, right. he's always making something over there. Yeah. Always making something, and it's he's making improvements. That's what he's doing. Seeing cahoots with Riley, tell you what, <laughs> now you get paranoid. I'm getting paranoid. You're getting paranoid. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, might lose power tonight. Big time thunder showers. Mark, yeah, that, did we just experienced that yesterday? Yep. Tons of fun. Uh, I was as flat as it appears when you fly over it. It is super it is. true. It is very flat here. It is. It's not the most flat. I, we have hills. We have rolling hills. That and cornfields. And cornfields. Yeah, we, uh, we have hills and cornfields. Uh, when I say hills, they're like up, down, just very minor, nothing crazy. Um, oh. But it's mostly flat. Unless you, you're in Dubuque. You get to Dubuque ne- gets low. Nebraska is flat. You can yeah, see the whole Nebraska, state from yeah. the edge. So there's that. Yeah. We don't like to talk about them a lot. Their corn's oh. not as good as ours. Nope. They're, you know, Sucks. their people aren't as nice as us. I'm they are saying. not. I'm just saying. They're Midwestern. Facts. They're but, Midwestern barely. But they have by like association. A, they have like a Kansas attitude. By touching us on yeah. Iowa. Yeah. You know, you know, we let them. If any purchase. of you are from, if any of you five people are from Kansas, please chime in. Kansas, Nebraska, <laughs> wherever you're from, just make sure you throw us some hate yeah, mail for yeah, that. That's yeah. good. Um, Our corn is not as good as your corn. Make sure you have tornado insurance on all that rum. Oh, yeah. It's, but it's in the basement. It's, it's in the safest spot already. <laughs> um, it is. That's why we. That's why we Except put it here. Cupboard up there in the cabinet. We'll there. carry the cupboard down. The tornado yeah. sirens go yeah. off. We'll I'll just, call you. We carry Get down the whole gas ca- over here. <laughs> Get this rub downstairs. Uh, uh, let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. Nice, Doc. Very. <laughs> Moving on. Love it. Love that conversation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if Cedar Ridge listened, the base rum might start tasting good. Good thing they have good whiskey. Yeah, uh, that's one of our rum so distillers that John that John critiqued uh, and told them what they're doing wrong. I hope they listen. I really yeah. do. So uh, I'm sorry. I had a bad experience in Nebraska, Mike says. <laughs> Doesn't everybody that goes there? Oh, dude. I have. I have. Look at that. This is no kidding. I have. They do have a better zoo than us. Such if you, if you meet me out in Chicago, I might actually tell you about my bad experience. Out I'll in tell Nebraska. you what, uh, Nebraska's got such a good zoo. Oh, yeah, I they do. They've zoo. got a great zoo. I'm a sucker for a good zoo. <laughs> so I got to give props where props is due. Man, the Omaha Zoo is pretty awesome. Oh, I will my. say it like borders Iowa. So it's really close. Really close. But, you know, it is in technically Nebraska. So. We'll give it to them. Nice zoo. All right, moving on. Moving on. You now, got more news? Now that we've done a zoo review. Uh, <laughs> great question. You're welcome, Nebraska. You're welcome, Nebraska. We just gave you all the hype you deserve. Uh, in, <laughs> in 2024, this is a headline, okay? In That's 20, this year. In 2024, will it be the year rum explodes in the global market? Well, let me tell you something, guys. Here's some fun facts. Okay, where where is this coming from? This is from God. Sorry, I didn't I didn't get up that high. Lauren Eads wrote this article. I don't see where it where, came from. Who does she write for? I don't know. Okay, uh, hold on. Well, this doesn't sound like a like a Rum Raiders article, but but they're they're uh, yeah, no, it's not. Okay, um, well, at least I don't think it is. 
Um, let's see here. So let let's just let's just talk real quick. Is this Rum's year? Well, let me lay down a fact for you. Okay, okay. lay it down, Robert. Lay it down. Let's take a look at the Rum acquisitions that took place in 2023. How about Diageo purchasing Don Papa? Right, uh, Brown Foreman's acquisition of Diplomatico. Okay, okay. We have these huge industry leaders in other markets yep. buying into luxury rum. Okay, yep. premium rum, whatever they're you want to call to it. Trying to buy the market, and That's they're what getting they're in. To do. And they've been doing this since 2020. They've been slowly accumulating it. Now, if there's one thing I can tell you, whether it's you watch stocks, whether you watch uh, anything that goes off, is when the big guys start picking it up. That's an early sign that this is something they're going to push for down the road and absolutely last year we saw two huge acquisitions yeah, we did. that tells me rum is poised to take a spotlight now it has struggled against drinks of the likes of whiskey tequila okay globally looking up against you some know, of these funny, it, I it I has had anybody struggle against gin yeah nobody's nobody's struggling <laughs> against gin except those who drink it uh uh so so what we're looking at here is we've been talking about this for a long time and we you can go back to some of our earlier videos and we started calling for this 2025 yeah 2025 is what we called for way back in like 2020 2021 yep. when we were talking about rum and we were talking about where the industry is going we've been saying the year 2025 and it's on the horizon we're getting there. Yep. Uh, it's coming. And I think that 2024 is going to be a good buildup. But I think 2025 is going to be the year that rum gets recognized nationally, globally, uh, across the board in so many well, ways that it has it, been disrespected in the it, past. It, it's, so, it's so funny because it's, it's so much about what part of the world that you're in. You know, the UK. I feel like the UK, you, European market is a little bit different. For the rum community there than what it is here yeah you know it is everywhere um, it is everywhere it, it's everywhere is different right it, it, it is it, it's just everywhere is a little bit different but i agree i 100 i really feel that you know late 2024 uh mid to mid 2025 i think we're gonna see a little bit of a spike a little bit of an uptick there for the rum yeah now does that go hand in hand with the fact that this happens to be an election year? I don't know. Because maybe. rum was used in elections way back in maybe. the day. You know, maybe people are just tired of all the stuff. You're running, aren't you? <laughs> are you on the ballot this year? Yeah, go ahead and write me in. Rum Daddy Royer. <laughs> yeah, They'll figure it out. In. They'll figure out who it is. Uh, but here's the thing. Big brands are doing this, but that's not the only thing. Oh, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Small brands are betting big. Small brands are betting big. You know why? Because why over because since 20, me, 2022, since 2022, rum sales have tripled. Triple. So it's actually already. It's going up. It's been going, going up. up. And it's getting ready for a massive boom. Because uh, rum brands, the small brands are making craft distills, fun ex uh, expressions. You got the big brands buying into the already successful brands at the top I'm, that I'm they're gonna, buying I'm into. I'm going to stop you right here. I'm going to tell you right now. If you want a really good rum experience, you find those craft distillers. They're the ones. They are the ones that truly care about the product that they're putting out. I really thought you were about to plug the rum club again. I was about to throw you off the show. No. Anywho. No. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm saying like craft distillers like Doc Brown's. You absolutely need to go online, check it out, reallybadrum.com. Uh, go check out uh, John Hasbrook at JustRum.com. Go check out Modern Matriarch out of uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa. Check out uh, Distillery 173. So There's all these craft distillers. I want to get to my last statistic here. So, yes, absolutely. And we support. That, that, that's that's where I'm we saying. find our most fun rums, don't exciting just, rums. Don't just go to your Bacardi's. You know, they're, they, they all make good products. Sure, sure, sure they do. You know, but. Go find those craft distillers. And if you want something them. really, really, truly special, something they put their heart into, you go find those craft Absolutely. distillers. Absolutely. Um, and we love it. You know, we we will always support them because they're doing bigger things for the rum market than you can understand. Yep. Because they're bringing in new They're bringing in the competition. That they're starting to try that other people aren't willing to do. And it makes it so they're much brave fun. enough to do. So here's they don't the have thing. Balls so here's the do. thing. I'm just saying. Uh, the volume sales. 
okay. for global of uh, rum have gone up, uh, tripled, you know, and or sorry, not since, since 2023, sorry, going into the year, 100%. Okay. 100% since then. Okay. Second only to one category, Royer. What it's gin. Are you serious? Gin has 112%. Increase. What? I just thought I'd throw that out there for you because I thought you'd appreciate the fact that gin was actually the only volume sales that beat rum Man. after we just trash talked it the entire time. It's actually grew this. faster than us uh, by 12%. Yeah. 12 even a real number? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think it is. But I, I think thought it's made up. Who's this that put this together? I don't think they did it right. That's not a real fact. Everything <laughs> else seems legit. Fake news. But that's hard to buy into. That's all I'm saying. That is hard to buy into. So, uh, so they're saying just beat <coughs> rum out? Well, the, in growth over uh, the last year, um, instead of 100%, really? it was 112%. I don't think so. It just, it just grew 12% more than rum no, did. No. That's the only thing that beat it. I think, I think people know better. We that. beat everybody else. Yes, we But did. gin, 12%. 12%. I'm going to get you a t-shirt. So it's 12%? It says 12% on it, just to remind you. Just to remind you. Good stuff. Um, let's see here. Uh, catch up on your guys' comments here. Uh, what's different about a southern zoo? Uh, it had a recipe for the animals on display. I don't, I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Uh, what is that? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what you're laughing at. Uh, drove through Nebraska, got eight hours. Uh, the highlight was KFC in the middle of a cornfield. That sounds about right, Mike. Uh, that sounds that sounds super right. I definitely What's agree the with that. Different about Southern Zoo, it had a recipe for the animals on display. I don't, you, you do not get that. No, I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Anywho, I'm just moving on. Uh, I'm. I guess. Okay. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm just being real. I don't know. I'm. I, I can't I'll understand. explain that to you later. Uh, every year is Rum's year. Just saying, Greg says. Absolutely. Roger Ham says Nebraska zoos are called feedlots. And so there are <laughs> animals out there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. By the way, since I cracked open my door at least 12 to make a drink, I am taste testing it. And it's really good. Love that. Greg, Greg's even drinking bougie. Got bougie rums all across the border. Yeah. I love that. I love Man. that. You guys are drinking good stuff. You're I, having I, absolutely amazing stuff. I now left out. And now that we're getting in here to the end here, there's one okay. thing I gotta say, Royer. If you're feeling left out, don't worry. Okay. Because you don't have to wait long. Because in three days, we set sail for Chicago yeah, for Chicago baby. Rum Fest, where we will be sampling some amazing bougie rums alongside amazingly unbougie rums, alongside whatever rums they decide to bring in, because we're going to try them all. Royer is going to spit nothing, none of them out. Uh, I will. I will spit every single one of them out. I'm going to be the most sober person there. There's the famous last words. It won't happen. Not a single one. So either. to give you, so this is who I believe will be there. I believe Plan Array will be there. Bob and Koo, Zacapa, Diplomatico, somebody I cannot pronounce, another person I cannot pronounce, Dos Madeiras, Lemonheart, another person I cannot pronounce. I'm going to hurt myself if I try and say that one. Some of these names are great. Kane Rock, uh, Renegade Rum, Admiral, Admiral Rodney. Rodney Rum, Santa, Santa Teresa. Teresa, Bacardi. <laughs> I, you're gonna hurt yourself, Royers. Single cast nation. Black Tot Black Tot Rum will be there. The Chicago Cane Cooperative. That's what I was that's trying it. to think that's of. That's it. the Chicago one. Cane Cooperative. That's the one I was trying yep. to think of. They they actually put together some pretty good rums. Yeah. Uh they they really did, but they've got a really, really low budget. So big shout out to them. Working hard. Uh St. James Rum. Uh, Monty Musk, Long Pond, Maggie's Farm, Star Union. Star Union will absolutely be there. Bounty out of St. Lucia. I wonder if Dog the Bounty Hunter will be with them. I, I, I hope so. I don't think so. I hope so. It'll be awesome. <laughs> we could ask them. We'll 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 Worthy Park. Uh, Tiburon Rum. There you go. That means uh, Captain Jack Sparrow is going to be there. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, he's always absolutely. he's always running around. And we did a video with, with him yeah, last year, didn't we? Yeah, Tiburon Rum. Uh Ron Centenario, Rum Bar, Clement, 
uh, Rum JM, Hope they got the Chairman's box. Reserve, just to name a few. A few. There's your few. So there, there's going to be a lot of uh, rum companies there. It's going to be fun. We're gonna, it's going to be a blast. So that's this weekend. That's where we're going to be hanging out on Saturday. In case you guys want to know exactly where we are, what location, time, and day we're going to be, you know on Saturday. Uh, so uh, we're excited about that. So for any of you that want to take Royer off guard and tackle him or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's that's, not do that. That's where we're going to be. Let's not do that. Uh, good hand, good firm handshake. Good firm handshake. Work. Be super good. Now, the by the work. time you guys run into Rum Daddy Royer, he's already going to be 16 rums deep. I might he's, give you a big hug. Gonna, you're going to get a hug from Rum Daddy Royer. <laughs> might give you a great and big hug. And you're going to get an I love you, man. And it's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. So we're super excited about that. We're going to bring back some fun stories. Super excited. Some uh, that we will be able to share and some that we will not don't be forget, able to share. Don't forget, if you guys haven't watched our Key West legal rum for the... Uh, Bad bitch. Uh, the, no, the 10-year. Oh, the, ten year. The, the anniversary one back here on this tree stand that we have. Uh, that was one we did a few weeks ago with Jesse on the show. And yep. he made a statement that I would just like to reemphasize. For anyone that finds us at Chicago Rum Fest. You're bringing this back up. I cannot believe that you're actually doing this. Jesse will tell you any story you want to know if you're in person. There's a lot of them. <laughs> there's, there's like one. There's, there's He exaggerates a lot. There's like maybe, maybe, I mean, not. it's like half of them. There's half a lot a of them. There's it's a like lot of stories story. That's that it. we've kept in, in the triangle, the trifecta of us three. Uh, and he'll tell you any story you want to know if you're there. So that's yeah. going to be a good time. Take advantage of that. We're excited to see you guys. It's going to be a tons and tons of fun. Uh, <laughs> why, why, I love it. Why do you torment me so I, much? It's so good. Uh, Riley's on her oh. way to pick me up because I got a DD tonight. I'm super uh, thankful for that. Thanks, babe, for coming to get me. Um, I'm jumping down here. I don't know where we left off. Can't keep my eyes open any longer. Got to get some sleep. Mind free. Go get Mind some free. sleep. Take Thanks care. for being here. Thank you so much for joining us. It's glad to have you here. Yeah. Uh, John Hasbrock's drinking his delicious rum. Ask Jesse about the wedding crasher of Miami. Oh, that's a good story. <laughs> Such a good story. Okay. Moving on. Oh, Wait, look at the that time. That is a good story. Look at the time. Yes, that's a fun story. That Look at this. the time. That was the same night you stuck me with look the tab. Look at the time. Same wow. night you stuck me so with the tab. We're, uh, we're going to wrap this there's up. There's some good extra extras to that. Uh, oh, thanks, John. It's good stuff. Thanks, there's John. a lot of good stories to talk about. Thank you. Uh, we're excited for Chicago. If you guys haven't, uh, thank you for the thumbs ups, by the way. Oh, we do appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you uh, haven't checked out the links down below, you haven't gotten enough of us yet, you can check out the Just Drinking After Hours Facebook group, the Instagram, the TikTok, all that's free. And if you're looking for that extra rum experience, we're getting a ultra cool experience this month. Uh, this month. Uh, checking out the process of slow Hasbrook diluting and how rum. that affects rum with Just Rum. Uh, John Hasbrock from Just Rum. And uh, that's going to be on the 28th. I like that that. The 28th. This pew, pew, look at that. <laughs> I was just throwing fireworks. That's all it was. Like, <laughs> pew, pew, love it. Uh, John Hasbrock, love you guys. Yeah. Love you, man. We love you, man. We love you. Uh, super grateful for all of you guys coming to hang out with us on a Wednesday, making us feel like we're not drinking alone in the basement. Makes us feel good. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Chicago. For those of you that are to make us feel like we're not Look being forward to super seeing you. crazy. I'm hopefully going to find some overalls before we get there. We'll see. I hope uh, you don't. Super, super excited. I showed you a picture of me trying yeah, to I today. Did. I'm yeah, very I much in that. the hunt. I haven't found a pair that I like yet, but I'm going to hopefully get there. And I'm just super, super excited. So I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday. Thank you so much for all the support and love. This is the best rum community in the world, we number one. We love you guys. You guys make this so much fun. And everybody that Thank comes you. here is lucky enough to get to talk to you guys, hang out, introduce themselves, whether you're a beginner, whether you're experienced. Because, Doesn't matter. Because everybody here is so welcoming and able to just freely talk and ask questions. Makes it so much fun. And we can't be more thankful for you guys being able to do that. Uh, it, it means more to us than you know. And it's going to help rum more than you guys know. So thank you for that. And with that, Royer, let's get him home safe. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums for harm during the making of this video. Not at all. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care.